we are recovering today. We came in three in the morning last night and dropped the hook and spent the day really just cleaning up the boat. We took that wave through the bathroom window. Uh, we just took a huge wave. I've never seen so much water pouring from one open port before. Yeah, we didn't get it on film. It's like we're just, usual. we're just sitting there chatting casually and all of a sudden you're and we're just trying to figure out exactly where to go. Now we're in San Carlos Anchorage, but if we can get to the marina, we would love to. Um, the reason we came here to San Carlos. So our original plan was to go up here, like near the Bay of LA, and now we're across over here. Um, it's because the models that we're showing it kind of going up the spine of Baja California here, and like kind of staying out west. So rather than having ourselves based up here, we figured it's better to get further away more on the mainland side. Yeah, and so our track has a giant... Place us go bonk, <laughs> like dip east. Yeah. So we were just watching it, and we were having a really hard time heading north, and we were had a little discussion, and we were kind of like, why are we even trying to go north? That's where the storm is going. Like, maybe we're better off going east and, you know, trying to put some distance between us and the storm, so... For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. And for some more context, our indirect course yesterday ended here in the Sea of Cortez off Mexico's western coast. So that's yeah. why we wound up making that decision like I guess early afternoon or something like that. Yeah. And then when we hear back from the marina we can decide where we going where we want to be within this little San Carlos. We just don't know what direction yet, like what, what direction the winds are gonna be because it really depends on where the eye passes by that kinda you know, it's gonna be like a counterclockwise flow. I can't I don't know if the camera's reversing us on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a counterclockwise flow. And uh, so depending where the eye is placed, it could be like a southerly, it could be like a westerly, it really depends how close the eye gets to where we are. So we don't really know where to position ourselves within the harbor. The marina is closed on four corners, so that's pretty easy. Yeah, and just everybody wants to be in this marina, so. Yeah, we'll see. I don't, I, they emailed me saying that space and then... Well, we just got word that there's a slip for us, so we are fallen but yeah so i think they have space for us just because we're so small and our draft is pretty shallow because they're really booked up so we're getting kind of lucky here first step is getting into this marina and it looks really good in terms of protection like our slip we just were in the marina office talking to them and our slip is like kind of all the way on the side of like this like cliff we'll show you like us guys this marina is in cars you copy over yep i just want to let you know that we are inbound over tough docking but Bill nailed it. Um, so glad we got in here before it got windier because that would have been tricky. We are now T minus 12 hours out before the storm. Yep so begins. now is the time to start prepping the boat outside. Yeah <laughs> most of our friends have already done that but we had so many other projects yeah. to do that today is going to be today is going to be a critical 12 hours. And the plan for today is going to be to secure the deck um, mainly. So take everything down, um, tie things up that need to be tied up, check all of our lines. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the spinnaker halyard around the head sail, uh, just to keep it hopefully from opening up. We're not expecting like crazy, crazy wind, so I'm not gonna take down the sail. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna get the top just wrapped in a spinnaker halyard just to prevent anything from opening up on us. Just wrap the top. Okay, so that's gonna be more secure now. No opening up on my watch. Oh, no. Yeah, nice up there. You can see like that helped kind of seal it up even further. We just tightened the top of the sail. Yeah, I can see that. That's good. I probably should secure the sail cover, right? Because that's a lot of windage. Yeah.
pulled Bimini into. We have to be conservative. That's a problem with. That's the whole thing with hurricane prep. That's that's sort of annoying, right? Is because you have to go overboard. Because yeah, if you really don't, you'll it, really kick yourself later if it happens to be the worst case scenario. So we've prepared for many a hurricane, and it's a lot of work. And then it's a lot of work to put everything back. But yeah, it's just in good conscience we have to go every extra mile because um, it's our home, and then it's also other people's home. So I think we're done here. Um, I added an extra, uh, an extra preventer line, kind of like just going from the bow as a backup. Um, this is keeping it off the dock in case the wind goes that direction, so I realized this is the only line keeping us from hitting there, hitting our transom, so I have a spare here. Our head sail wrapped up. We got our mainsail wrapped up. Bimini wrapped up. Thingy's up. Power plug is secure. I added a back spring line here. I wish I could get a bow line to the piling over here, but this trawler is too big. Um, this boat is actually unattended, so I actually just checked his lines as well because I <laughs> don't want him pushing into us. So I was kind of inspecting his docking just to make sure and get familiar with it in case I have to help out uh, during a storm. I'll help myself. I have our wind gen off so it won't go crazy. Let's put uh, brakes on. Maybe I'll put a sail tie on that to keep the blades from going. The storm's coming in just a few hours now, so we're gonna go get some tacos um, or maybe pizza. We haven't decided. Um, oh, thank you, thank you for my shoes, Sierra. Uh, yeah, before the storm comes, we want to get some some last minute restaurant food because we don't feel like cooking. Um, yeah, and Brian Kaza and Nugget just stopped by. Do some footage swap. Yeah, that was good footage swap. But you can definitely see the sky changing colors. It's darker now. Okay, I'm waiting. Catch up. <laughs> yeah. Race. Stop. So the taco place isn't open yet because us gringos eat too early. Um, we just made a game time decision and grabbed some steak, arachera from the food store and cucumber and some tomatoes. 
and I'm gonna make rice or something on the boat and we decided just to eat 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 in the boat because it's just like seems like it's really starting to get ominous get darker back at the marina now and we're feeling our first drops of rain so glad we're glad we're back oh preparing our hurricane watch here <laughs> been on some entertainment we got our steak cooked i made risotto and then we have a little really good salad actually um i've been munching on it and yeah and we wait <laughs> Well, I can see that the barometer is steadily dropping. Because we had a gust in there 40 about 10 minutes ago. Um, so far, the scene's very protected, though. A little tired, don't mind me. I'm glad we're in a slip, though. It feels nice and protected. There's not much fetch here. I wonder how the other guys are doing. Bill's on deck, just tying um, our halyard down, just moving around and making a noise. Um, and honestly, I just woke up. <laughs> I slept through like everything. Um, I mean, it's not over yet, but yeah, it's like 8 a.m. So it's. Yeah, pretty good here in the marina. So the, the eye of this storm is uh, kind of like due west of us now close to being due west of us, so it's not gonna, nearly gonna go over us, like it's way on the other side of Baja, California. Yeah. But, so I guess like that means it's maybe halfway through or something, so. Yeah, and we just got a message from Brooke on One Life and they just saw a 43 knot gust. And we've seen gusts up to 44 knots. Wow. And we've and really maxed out at 40 and that was only uh, one this morning gust. When the, when the front came through this morning when it first started. Um, we're seeing like in the 20s, like 22. I mean, you can see like <clears throat> maybe some 30 knots. Like these are spikes here to 30. So it's but it's seems just averaging like it's, around 20 for us. Yeah. So it seems like it's substantially. Um, we're blocked out here, I think. More common here. We haven't heard from Haza yet, but um, Brooke just sent us a video, and the boats are really pitching, and I'm just so grateful that we're in this marina. Yeah, we got lucky on I that mean, one. Really, it's just because we have a four foot draft. I mean. That's the only reason we're in here is because we have a center board, otherwise I'm, we'd be out there. I just, I've never loved our boat. <laughs> our small, small boat. Small boat went for the win. <laughs> More than right now, like I can't stop thinking about it. At the end of the day, so far, and we're only halfway through, but so far it's, everything yeah, it's, Everyone will be safe, but it might be incredible. Yeah, this is just not, it's, it could have been so much worse. It's just so good for us that it did not track uh, closer to the mainland, um, and it followed the course that uh, it looked like it was supposed to follow. So we've had a lot of uh, other like sailors reach out to us, like their Instagram and stuff. So we're thinking about all those guys because a lot of people were heading to the Hurricane Hole because uh, they were further north than us. Like guys, we should have been in the season. <laughs> so yeah. They all went to that, the Hurricane Hole. We were heading on uh, the actual Baja California. Um, so we're thinking about them too because they're going to have a little more wind there. They're actually in the tropical storm warning where we are sort of <clears throat> just outside, outside that. So all those folks reached out to us from. Don Juan and all there, like, hope you guys get through it okay too, and hopefully it's a non-event for everybody.
this monohull that was anchored near sailing vessel One Life during the storm ended up dragging right past them and eventually wound up here, washed up on the beach. The person on board survived with no injuries. Well, as you can see, the sun is now shining and it's time to put the boat back together. Um, what a difference a day makes. But yeah, I got some work here to do. Um, it's always better to be overprepared and then have to fix it instead of having an issue. So, so I just gotta undo what I did, but just kinda like get the halyards off the sail, get the sail cover undone, get our wind gen untied, get the bimini back up, um, remove some of these extra dock lines that we have. Yeah, so here we go. The boats in Don Juan, where sailing vessel Basic was, made it through the storm safely. Unfortunately, here in San Carlos, a total of two boats in the anchorage dragged and washed up on the beach. The holding is known to be patchy. It's sad to see the boats washed up on the beach, and we feel really lucky to have gotten a slip where we were able to weather the storm both safely and comfortably. <laughs> 